welcome back to my youtube channel students in this video i am going to explain grade 8 first unit exercise questions lot of students are have been asking to explain first unit of grade 8 science that's why i decided to explain in this video before climbing on video please subscribe to my youtube channels if you give your continuous support to our youtube channels we can build our youtube channel properly let's go to the questions the first question is what do you mean by microorganisms we know there are three type of organisms the first one is plants the second one is animals the third one is microorganisms we can observe by naked eye of plant cell and animal cells but cannot be observed by naked eye microorganisms to observe microorganisms we can use microscope Endon von Leeuwenhoek was observed in very first time a structure of microorganisms by microscope cannot be observed by naked eye unicellular or multicellular organisms called as microorganisms if we write answer to the first one like this we can get full marks in our exams let's go to the second one what are the five main groups of microorganisms we know there are main five types of microorganisms the first one is virus the second one is protista the third one is fungi the fourth one is algae the last one is bacteria lot of students are getting as a clarification example of microorganisms we have to keep in our mind paramecium and plasmodium and amoeba also example for the protista but above microorganisms are not in main group of microorganisms some students writing answer to the main group of microorganisms as amoeba and plasmodium and paramecium don't write like this chlamydomonas is example for the algae chlamydomonas have chlorophyll that's why chlamydomonas can do photosynthesis processing we can use component microscope to observe structure of bacteria and fungi and algae and protista but cannot be observed structure of virus by component microscope that's why we can use to observe structure of virus by electrical microscope above things are very important and valuable things for the grade 8 students let's go to the third one which type of microorganisms source living and non-living features we can get answer as direct virus in virus epson in cellular cannot be observed cell organization in virus excretion and breathe nutrition and support and movement and reproductions are characteristics of organisms but any virus not taken above characteristic without reproduction Char only characteristic of virus is reproduction that's why we can say the virus is source living and non-living features that's why suitable answer to the third one virus we can't destroyed structure of virus through the antibiotic for the reason a cellular organization is absent in virus corona aids and dengue also cause of virus let's go to the next one
name the given microorganisms given five microorganisms structure we should be able to select suitable name of microorganisms the first figure is bacteria the second figure is muca muca is structure of fungi the third diagram is amoeba the fourth diagram is paramecium the fifth diagram is chlamydomonas let's go to the second one above this which microorganisms can do photosynthesis i already explained chlamydomonas have chlorophyll that's why chlamydomonas can do photosynthesis processing very properly chlamydomonas is example for the algae is pyrohyra also example for the algae but is pyrohyra can't get photosynthesis processing that's why suitable answer for the b part chlamydomonas let's go to the third one which microorganisms can be seen in spoiled bread we can observe surface area of the bread after the spoilage of bacteria white color appearance surface area of the bread reason for the above appearance effect of fungi mucor type of fungi will breed surface area of the bread that's why we can see suitable answer to the c part muca let's go to the d part which microorganisms cause the amoebiasis before explaining answer to the d part i am going to explain disease caused of microorganisms to the animals corona and dengue and aids diseases are virus diseases typhoid fever and tuberculosis diseases are example for the bacteria disease sore and pityriasis disease are example for the fungi diseases malaria and leishmaniasis and amoebiasis diseases are example for the purodista disease that's why we can see suitable answer for the d part purodista let's go to the fifth one write two factor that are necessary for microbial growth and its activity we know moisture condition and temperatures are very suitable condition for the microbial growth of microorganisms that's why we are using refrigerator to control the temperature of chatine food that's why if we keep particular food into the refrigerator we can protect the food nutrition and structure from microbial activity to make antibiotic and vaccine is suitable answer to the sixth one we'll see with next video thanks